Hello everyone. YouTube channel DRS Maths welcomes you all. Today we are going to discuss the another third central tendency of statistics that is mode. As you know, we have started discussion of statistics. The question from this section is asked and will be asked in various examinations. But before starting this discussion, I would like to request you till now if you have not subscribed YouTube channel DRS Maths and not followed DRS Maths at an academy, please follow it and watch the videos and courses made by DRS Maths at both the platforms. If you like the videos, please share it with your friends too. Now starts the topic today. What is mode? Till now we have discussed what is mean, what is median and the basic terminology used in statistics. Today we are going to discuss mode. Generally the mode is what that is the observation or data or value which appears maximum number of times or which recorded maximum number of times that is called mode. Right? Whenever you have some data and in that data what the value which appears which, which is recorded maximum number of times that value is called mode simple definition suppose here is an example with this example i would like to discuss they are asking what is the mode of the given data the data is 2 2 4 5 3 5 4 2 6 7 6 7 we just i have just arranged it there is no need to arrange that is 2 3 times 3 1 times 4 2 times 5 2 times 6 2 times and 7 2 times 2 is the value which appears maximum number of times and it is 3 times appears. So mode of this given data is simply 2. Sometimes it may happen the same value, the two values appears equal number of times. Suppose 2 3 times and suppose 7 appears also. There is another 7 and it appears 3 times. In that case the mode will be 2 and 7. Both will be the mode. Simple. Right? So this is the way to calculate. You just watch the recorded data and see which values appear maximum number of time that will be the mode. Right? Now see the next example. They are asking what is the mode of the value 4, 1, 1, 4, 11, 7, 11, 5, 11, 30, 28. You just see 11 appears 1, 2, 3 times. 4 appears 2 times, 1 appears 2 times, 7 appears 1 times. It means 11 is the value which appears maximum number of time. So simple, mode is 11. There is no formula, nothing to write. Okay, this is the way to calculate to find out the mode of a given data. Next, in this question, in the tabular form, if they are giving you the frequency distribution table and asking for the mode, what is the mode of the following data? The marks obtained by students 15, 4, 23, 17, 7, 22, 2, 18, 9. I, as I have told you, okay, this number of students is the frequency, right? So, the frequency means the appearance of the value, right? The number of times that value appears. So, which value appears maximum number of times, that will be the mode. So, for that we have just see okay, which is the largest frequency. The largest frequency will be the mode. The largest frequency is 9. So, 9 this frequency is of the value 18 so mode will be 18 right simply in this case what you have to write the value have maximum numbers that is highest frequency that is called mode so value is 18 which is has the highest frequency 9 so that's why mode is 18 this is the simple way to calculate the mode of any data now see the another example what is the mode of the following data now this is the grouped frequency table in this, again, you just see the number of students. This is the frequency. As you have seen, the highest frequency is 13. So, the, this group, this group is called modal group. That is the group having highest frequency. The mode is consisted in that group. So, this group is called modal group. Right? So, this modal group have the highest frequency. So, mode lies in this group. And what will be the mode? In that case, mode is equal to the class mark of the model group. And the class mark is calculated by adding the lower limit plus upper limit, taking half of that. So, mode is equal to 20 plus 30 by 2. That is 50 by 2. So, the mode of this data is 25. Just simple. This is the way to calculate mode. Right? 
so this is the mode 25 now see there is what is the relation between all the three central tendencies that is mean arithmetic mean or median and mode the relation between them is mode is equals to three times of the median minus two times of the mean that is mode is equal to three times of median minus two times of the mean right sometimes they are not asking directly in this way suppose if i am transferring two times of mean minus two times of mean in the left so it is subtracted here it will be added with the mode and it becomes three times of median is equal to mode plus two times of mean that is this is also the answer or it may be median is equal to one third of one third of what mode plus two times of the mean in the bracket it is mode one third of mode plus it is mode plus two times of the mean this is way suppose if i am transferring median to this side then what it will happen you just see two times of the mean in the left and mode to the right side it becomes two times of the mean is equal to three times median minus mode or mean is equal to half of what three times median minus mode half of that it is mean so in the various examinations they are just diverting it so this is the basic mode is equal to three times median minus two times mean from this you can get this result also and you can get this result also so whatever is the option you just remember this one and on the basis of that you can get any of it and simply you can take the correct answer now the next thing is here what it is there are a few questions which i would like to discuss with you what is made of what is the mode of a data whose median is 8 and mean is 10 that is they have given you median as well as mean asking for mode what you will do mode is equal to three times median minus two times mode the value of median is 8 value of mode is 10 just put the value 8 3 is 24 10 2 is 20 24 minus 20 the answer is 4 so mode is 4 simple next is find the median of a data whose mode is 5 and mean is 11 that is mode and mean is given asking for median simple mode is equal to 3 times median minus 2 times mean mode is 5 mean is 11 so 2 times 11 it becomes what 22 here it is minus 22 minus 22 when it comes this side it becomes plus 22 the so 22 plus 5 that is 27 and this is equal to 3 times median so median is equal to 27 by 3 that is 9 simple right this is the way next question is what is the mean of the data whose median is 11 and mode is 5 no problem just write down the same formula again mode is equal to 3 times median minus 2 times of the mean simple mode is given 5 median given 11 so 5 is equal to 3 times 11 minus 2 times of mean it is 2 right it, it's not a question mark it's 2 2 times of the mean 2 times of the mean goes left 11 3 is a 33 written here 5 comes this side and becomes minus 5 so 2 times of mean is equal to 33 minus 5 simple to it 33 minus 5 that is 28 so mean is equal to this 2 will divide in this side to mean is equal to 28 by 2 that is mean is equal to 14 right so this is the way to calculate mode in the various various kind of questions right this is all about the mean median and mode i hope it will help you and the question when came in the examination you are able to solve all the questions if you have any queries kindly write your queries in the comment box i would like to solve to resolve all the problems and queries of yours thank you so much for watching this video please if you have not subscribed drs maths kindly subscribe drs maths and share the videos by drs maths at youtube as well as at an academy share all the videos please watch all the videos for every examination and share it with your friends too thank you so much for watching this video we will meet in the next lecture where we will discuss some various aspects of this statistics hello everyone